I know this is going to be an Astrogoid on Haven. Um, we're going to start with defense. So usually on defense, I'm going to be playing uh, either A Link or C Link, actually, or, or B. Um, so we're going to uh, sort of sit here for the whole time. Um, maybe actually I'll, I'll actually go there for, for demonstration purposes. Actually, it's probably the best. Um, so on A, um, you, you can do things like uh, like this. Um, maybe actually a bit deeper on the smoke, uh, like this. And the reason want this smoke want, you want the smoke to be a bit deeper is because um, they'll get a timing or their barriers a bit here. So they can actually run past this smoke potentially, um, unless you place it fairly deep. So the reason why you want to smoke this sometimes is that you, you know it makes it a bit harder for the enemy team to kind of attack this. They they don't hundred percent know if someone's going to be like peeking very very fast, um, and it stops them from just like taking angles, um, like the best sort of angles here, like it blocks off this. At least it would. Um, and something else you can do as well, if you have someone um, playing in this position, then you can place a star here, and when they contact someone, so say if someone tries to run past, or someone's trying, trying to peek them, um, you can suck this. Um, so usually I'll be on my minimap watching this, um, from uh, C-Link, uh, or B or something. Um, I'll be just watching my minimap and waiting for someone to contact, and then I'll uh, gravity well it. Um, so then maybe my teammate can get a kill from long, um, or, long or one from, uh, from short. Um, and then when it comes down to retaking A, um, when I want to retake A, um, usually, oh sorry, actually let's not jump, let's not jump uh, too far ahead. Um, when you actually want to defend the actual site, um, then do these two smokes can't go wrong really. Um, they're just going to stop, they're going to delay the enemy a bit, it's like normal smokes. Um, and you can also place a gravity well to stop the bomb being planted. Uh, like this, so it stops the majority of the positions to plant, um, but it's not really that useful unless you are delaying for time properly, like you, you know they have not very much time to plant the bomb left and maybe you get a, a timeout win for defense, or you have lineups coming in from like a sofa or something, or a, a sofa ult, um, and you know you go tell him that he that, 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 that you're sucking if he's ulting because he might, he might miss his ult um, because you're like sucking them away from him. Um, but you, as long as you know, you want to like try and delay and um, be annoying, then you can do that. Um, there's also uh, one more thing. Uh, so you know, we're going to do retake, retake. So I was going to just talk about the alt then, but I don't think the alt is actually that useful on defense like this, um, like just straight up defending um, for solo queue because I don't feel, feel like people understand how to play around it um, because it's very very hard to. Uh, communicate that when people don't play with it very much. Um, it's not really their fault, but it kind of is. Um, but it the people just don't know how to play with Astra, especially her ult when you're on defense. So I wouldn't use it unless you're in post plant. And speaking of which, we're going to go into post plant now for A. Um, and so I'll talk about the wall first. So, first of all, I mean, this wall is probably the best one you want to do uh, for retaking A um, because um, it just stops them from seeing. Um, this is probably like the norm most normal one anyway. Um, I don't think it's actually the best one. Um, if they've planted front side, then you actually want to try and get as flush to the side as possible. You are giving them more space, um, but it gives you more... So, so okay, maybe I, I should explain this better, right? So in a 1v1 or like in a 1v2, 1v3, then this wall is better um, because you don't want to give them so much space or you want to you want to have the space, right? But if you're like a 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, 2v2... Um, then you don't need to worry about the space as much, right? Because um, you want to let your teammate to kind of like take use this space that you're providing with the wall. Um, and then they can like maybe push through or they can defend the wall while you're while you're defusing, right? In a 1v1, this is a lot harder wall to, to use um, compared to, to compared to this one, right? Because in this one, um, you're giving them less space to work with. I and mean, it means that they kind of have to play more as a team to sort of stop you from playing the game properly. Um, I'm going to press an escape to try and get a dash reform. Okay, um, and when it comes into like other utils, so you can smoke the bomb. Um, so if the bomb's planted, planted here, um, then just smoking yourself is a, is a good way to maybe get half. Um, you, will, you'll, you will get spammed, and um, someone might even try and push the smoke, but it's better than giving them the smoke, so you don't want to do this in post-plant, because if you do this in post-plant, you give them the autonomy with the, with the smokes, right? So that they can make the choices what to do with it with the smokes, right? And you want to make sure you have the choice with the smoke. That's the reason why you put it on, on the bomb. Um, that's really general smoker tips as well. Like you do that with every smoke. Every every controller or every... Even Jet, right? You, you see Jet smoke the bomb, right? They don't smoke the chokes. They smoke the bomb. Um, because it's a lot better because you can control the smoke. 
um, a lot more than you, you basically allow yourself to control the smoke and um, the enemy can't control the smoke um, is essentially what, what I'm trying to get at in a way too many words honestly over over explaining way too much um, okay so other things you can do as well is uh, you can just use uh, your like smoke or not smoke you can use your um, suck to stop them from peeking the, the important uh, the important angles right so if you've got you um, knowledge that someone's here right um, in post plant then you can suck this and um, you know, if you have like a teammate, then maybe you actually want to place this up like further out So they're actually getting pulled out of the the angle But say if you want to get half and you're running out of time Then you can actually pull them into the angle um, and start diffusing get half um, Because you know, that, that'd, be, that'd be fragile. That'd be, that'd be not wanting to peek you um, Obviously this works way less in like 1v2s because then the other player will just come around the corner and kill you um, potentially um, So yeah, you just want to be mindful of like what you can do with your util um, mainly pulling people out of positions, like this star is good. You want to pull people out of the positions, um, so this is one for pulling them out of, of, of that cubby. And there you go. Um, so that's basically it for A retake. We're going to go on to B, defending B and then retake. Um, so when I'm defending B, long story short, I don't do too much. Um, usually it's just this smoke, if I hear them coming up, short, uh, coming up uh, mid. And that's basically it. Um, if we can contest the actual original push, which usually we can't on Haven B, um, then I might put a suck here. Um, might do a gravity well here. Um, but generally I won't do that um, because most of the time with gravity well, you need some, well, basically all the time. Um, unless there's like a like a situation where, you know, you, you're like stopping a bomb going down or something. Um, then you kind of want someone to be able to follow up with this. Um, and in this position, it's really hard for anyone to follow up unless you already have space in B. Um, so then, therefore, you'd be fighting for B. Um, and that's fine, you can do that. Um, but generally, that doesn't happen in my games. Um, I made it, and you know, it should be like communicated, and usually it's hard to like defend B. It's usually a lot easier to just try and retake B. Um, and then, the uh, retake B. Um, so, we can talk about the wall first again. So, obviously, you can do this wall, like very similar to the last one. Depends where the bomb's planted, right? You can also do you can do it kind of like this. If the bomb's planted in the corner, if the bomb's planted in this corner, you can actually do something like this, where it's like um, you can just sort of sit in the corner by yourself um, and do this. Like it's very impossible for them. Like they can't spray this. It's, it's impenetrable wall, right? So there's nothing they can really do unless they push you. And this works really well if you're like um, got like two teammates or a teammate with you, um, like you're in a three v three, two v two. Um, because then it makes it a lot harder for them to get to this space as well uh, Because then your teammate could maybe sit outside the wall um, on this side um, While you're defusing um, and it makes it very very hard for them to actually push the original wall Because um, at this point like you have control of the wall and that's a very important concept for controllers Especially when retaking you want to be able to make sure that you have control of um, the smokes the, the vision obscuring things um, and in this case the bullet obscuring thing as well if you placed it like say here you're actually giving them a lot more space than you want to give them um in fact that was like kind of a, a bad wall on purpose like if you wanted to do it here then you could technically do it here right but it's not that good i mean you are doing it on a choke so it's not the end of the world but bear in mind like if you're in a 1v1 um or something like that or 1vx 1v2 1v3 then this wall is terrible um along with i mean this wall is like really good in like every situation and this wall is like May be good if you've already got control of this area, which by that point you're already taking fights beyond this. Um, it's just very, very weird wall. I would recommend doing one on site somewhere. Um, and for the other util as well, you can usually support the wall. I didn't really talk about supporting a wall on A. Um, so if you put the wall up and then you're here, um, or maybe not you, maybe someone else is defusing, you can put like a suck here to stop them from kind of uh, getting to you. So you suck this and then start defusing, right? There's no way that they're going to be able to get to you, and you can probably get half uh, fairly easily. Um, other, other than that, if you don't have wall, then once again, smoking the bomb is one of the best plays you can do. Um, like this. Um, maybe the bomb, bomb's here, or the bomb is here. You smoke yourself. Bear in mind, you can get, still get sprayers on like, your wall. That's fine. Um, you have control of the smoke. It's all good. Um, and then you can also place like a suck here, so people can't push the smoke um, on you. Um, it helps really helps the teammate defusing. Um, again, that's pretty basically it for, for being. Um, we're going to briefly talk about garage because there's no retaking on garage. Not really. Um, not fracture. Um, 
the infraction you would retake um, or the portions of the map before retaking the site sometimes. Um, so A main basically, we're retaking A. Um, but unless it's not really the same, you may retake it um, like this, right? If they went through garage, then you may want to like, do some retaking of the garage. Um, but it's nowhere near to the extent of fracture, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Um, so when they're attacking garage, um, they do the same thing, right? the same setup, right? As long as someone's, to, someone's here to, um, to follow up on this, then you can use it. And if you don't have a suck left, then you can always use the other one, which is the stun, right? Which is called Nova Pulse. Um, and that's basically it. If you want to retake garage, then it's not really your util that's going to retake the garage. Um, so that's the reason I'm not talking about it. It's going to be like flashes. So if you're going to look at, I don't know, a Phoenix or you've got um, a, a KO or something or a Sova maybe who has a, a recon, then this is how you're going to retake garage. You're not going to retake garage. Your util. You, your util. Um, now we're going to talk about C, Polyam C. Um, C is fairly easy for Astra to to uh, help. Um, so she's going to just put, put um, a smoke here. And then obviously this is like a very nice choke point for her, for her, um, for her suck. Uh, and that's basically it for, for C. Um, honestly, it seems very simple. Um, you don't really do any like smokes like this. You can if you want. Um, but generally it's kind of a waste of time if they've already taken this area. And um, then this smoke doesn't do anything. Um, so I wouldn't bother smoking that. And then a retake. Um, on retake, you can do um, sort of walls like uh, this, which is very similar to the other walls, where you have control of the wall, um, and there's nothing the enemy can do, right? That they have to like really push up to the wall, um, and you know you can even make it harder for them, right? You can put a smoke here, so then they have to retake this one more layer, right? They have to then retake all of this square before they can actually get up to the wall. So if you work, this works well when you're like in a three v three, and you can take this and you took this space for free, right? They're playing for lineups or something. Then you can place the wall here, you can have two teammates sit on this side of the wall, ready to sort of like stop them from pushing into the wall. Um, and maybe you're like trying to block, maybe where you can block the lineup, so maybe it's like a brim molly that you can block um, or something. Um, or maybe you have to like tap, to like get the brim ult off him or the sofa ult or something, and then it's very winnable round after that. Something like that, right? It's very situational. Um, you don't replace, once again, you don't replace the walls like this because you give them more control over the wall. You don't want to do that. Um, and yeah, that's it for defense. We're going to go over to attack. All right, so on attack, um, we're going to start off with A. Um, so on attack, usually, I'm going to be either starting off with a suck or a stun. So the difference between the two is that if it's an operator player, I'm going to stun. Um, and if it's not an operator player, then I'm going to suck. Um, the reason being is because the stun stops the operator player from scoping out. Um, and unless it's a jet or a chamber, then they are going to die. Uh, most likely, right? And the suck doesn't stop chamber TPing, it doesn't stop jet dashing. Um, so I'm not gonna suck, and they can still operate it from inside the center of the of the of the gravity well. So if they're standing in the center, um, if I get an operator and I suck this, I'm still completely accurate while standing in the middle of the gravity well. So if I do that against an operator, then I'm still going to die. And if it's a chamber, he's gonna TP away. If it's a jet, then they can actually updraft and dash. Or just dash, I think. I think they're looking I think they have to updraft and dash actually because of this, and it will catch them again. Um, that's just like a very, very small detail though. Um, good jets will already know that. Um, and yeah, that's basically uh, what I do instantly off the start of the round. So I'll do that basically as soon as my my star is able to be interacted with at the start of the round. Um, and I usually will run long. Um, and then I'll start placing my smokes when we want to go out, which will be here and here, um, in heaven and um team um and then you know i'll probably just plant the bomb like this and i'll keep one i usually plant it not too deep because you plant it over here um but um it kind of depends on like how we want to play it because i like going short after this um but you can plant it for long as well which is fine let me just um so if the bomb is there right you can also plant you can you want to be placing up a star like this um so when your suck is up and they go to diffuse on post plant you can then suck them off the, the diffuse, and then they don't get um, so they have to they get more delayed basically, um, and they're, they're more even more push for time. Um, although I'm sure you, you already know that, right? Um, and when it comes down to walls um, or uh, post plant on A, once again you just want to be doing sort of sim something similar, right? You want to be able to control the walls, but at the same time you want to be able to control the bomb. Um, so you want to be placing sort of the opposite side of the bomb, right? So if, if the defense want to place a wall like this. Then where do you want to place it, right? If the bomb is planted here, right? You want to be placing it kind of in this box. Uh, but bear in mind, this splits up the angles, right? So maybe you don't want to do it right in the box. Maybe you want to do it over here. 
Um, even though you do, you, you're you taking more space, right? You're giving them a bit more control of the actual wall itself. Um, it's okay, actually kind of okay. Um, because they need to... Um, they don't have the best choke points to come out of, right? So if you do it right in the window like this, there's no way that someone is going to have an advantage peeking out this window because they have to drop down first. Actually, they might not have to drop down first with the way I placed it, but you can definitely place it with the way... Okay, no, they have to drop down first. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so... You want to place it a bit further right. You want to place it like there. Um, because you don't want to allow them to do this. Um, so that's a mistake by me. Um, don't make the same mistake I just did. Um, so you want to place it okay, maybe more on this line. Um, there you go. So they can't just drop out. Um, they can't just drop out. Um, they can't just sorry, sit on this ledge. They have to drop out to shoot. You also don't want to place it too far forward. Because then they can drop out for free. And then they can use the whole of this wall. Um, instead of just being the window and this choke. Um, so, you, so, you know, th this is like the best post plant one, uh, for sure. Um, you don't want to place it too far forward, like I said, because you don't want to split up the, the two angles, right? Because then the box is making two choke points rather than one. Um, it's making a choke point here and a choke point here. You don't want that. You want just one singular choke point if possible. So if you do this, then it makes it very, very hard for the enemy to get in because there's two horrible angles for them to get out of. And you can also follow that up, support the wall, with a suck if you want to, but bear in mind you want to kind of use the suck on the bomb if you're really delaying for that much time. Um, it kind of depends on what your teammates are doing though, if you're in like a 4v5 or sorry, a 4v3, if you're outnumbering the opponent then maybe you don't need to wait that long. You want to be supporting your teammates as they're fighting rather than waiting for post plant. Um, but that's fine. Depends on what you want to do. Um, communicate with your teammates. Astra is really, really important to be communicating on and be communicated with you know if you have an astro in your team you want to be communicating if people are going out when you're defending or what you want to do on the on attack if so you can help support with the stars bear in mind her stars are a lot harder to use than they are than omen util or brim util um so you just want to be a bit more mindful that sort of stuff um i also talk about i didn't talk about a, a war you can do for attacking gay um and honestly this is probably the main war you've seen in like competitive which is this one um a bit further forward so a bit further further back sorry like like this actually let me just do it here because makes your life easier um so you do you see this one i think c9 game i saw this one in originally originally um so it's where the the, the the knife came in right this is this was uh one you can do in solo that people will understand um so you can basically get the bomb planted um in this in this area it, like here and it's very hard for the enemy to interact with you um I probably want to actually place it a bit him like like this in, in solo queue because people's positioning aren't going to be very planned out right so you don't want to be play planting it in like specific positions like this. You want to be planting it kind of like for 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 people places that people will understand to be like uh, like like short and long. Um, so yeah, planting there with with the with the um, with the wall here um, is a good strap for solo game. Um, for A, um, I wouldn't do it too far back because once again, you know, they can just push through the wall when you're like here. So, so, so say if you do the wall and you're you're standing here, right? You haven't really took sight yet. Um, if you do this wall, then they can actually push through the wall and fight sight still. Um, so you want to put it further forward. Bear in mind you are giving them a lot of sight um, by doing the wall in front of it instead, this wall. Um, and just bear that in mind. Um, you are giving them a lot more space than probably they should have. Um, so I wouldn't do this on like full buy versus full buy. Not always, anyway. Uh, maybe as a mix-up you can. Uh, but generally do it when maybe you're just saving or something. Um, so you can get a bomb plant. Um, or something, not even saving, but like a half buy that you may need to win that round. Um, maybe you're forced up because you really need to win that round, so you're going to ult as well. Move on to attacking B. Um, generally, the, the most important spokes to know are these two, um, which you'll, you'll know on every controller. Um, and that's basically it, right? You want to be planting this area. Um, and you don't really need much util to actually take B, is the important part of B. Um, much like they don't need a whole lot of util to re then retake it. Um, but you want to just place like a, a suck so it'll hit everything like this and stop them defusing. Um, bear in mind that I can counter suck, so you want to kind of like semi check, you want to like maybe shoulder peek. This isn't the best place to shoulder peek because this is spammable. So if you do this, you're going to get spammed through this wall because it's very spammable. Um, so you may want to do it here instead, a bit less spammable. It's a bit of a worse position because you can get flanked a bit easier um, and overall you can get pushed a lot easier. Um, but it's better for not getting spammed when shoulder peeking. Um, yeah, that's basically, you, you can maybe even put a star here, maybe, to protect you here if you're like in a 1v2. Then uh, you can put a star here and a star here. Then you can suck when you hear the bomb tap. 
Shoulder P this. If someone's pushing you, you can stun it. Um, you know, th there's a lot of options you have. Um, you can also do something with fake stars as well. Um, so if you want to, if you want to put a star here, you don't have a suck, and they're defusing the bomb or about to defuse the bomb, you can fake smoke it, and they may get a full sense of security, and then you can bring the the fake smoke and shoot them through, and when it when it dissipates. Um, then we're gonna do garage. Um, so garage. Um, so okay, let me, let me talk about walls first on B. Sorry. Um, the main wall you'll actually see is this one. Um, once again, very similar to the A wall where you can just basically not take the site and go plant. And that's basically it. Um, you can either do it in front of the box, the main box here, or you can do it on top like this, so you give yourself more space. Um, and something interesting that I, I think would be cool that I have not seen yet, I'm not sure if it's good or bad, really. I think it's a bit risky, if anything. And um, we'll wait for the first original water to go down first before I show. Um, but say if you get a jet um, to like updraft onto this, um, and then you can smoke this, and then the jet can like play off the smoke maybe, or maybe a raise would be better, or something like, like that. Right, they can play off this smoke and they can maybe swing it. Um, so I think someone needs flashes though, but uh, there's no one with like vertical, good verticality and flash it like a real flash. Uh, there's Omen, but he doesn't have. He has paranoia, not 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 like a actual flash. Um, I might be missing someone. I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no one with good verticality that can that can uh, flash too, um, which is probably a good design. Uh, Design point or a good, probably good design. Um, we got garage now, um, so um, just a general smoke here is good. Um, that's basically it um, for taking garage. Um, you usually don't need much else. If you know that they're going to play close, you can do utility to stop them from doing so, like this, um, or suck. Suck is usually probably worse versus shotguns. You probably want to stun because it stops their firing speed. So if you get a judge. And it slows the firing speed, so they're less likely to get another like multiple kills. They might just get one, um, and then die. Um, maybe we'll see. I mean, the judge is a bit annoying. Um, that's basically it for garage. Um, there's also the smokes for for A, right? I mean, for C, sorry. Um, which um, this is all going to collide with, with with garage. So the CT smoke you want to do, right? There's two CT smokes you can do. You can do this one, and you can do this one, um, and they do different things. So this one will stop people from actually pushing. Um, to this position and then shooting someone in this position. Um, it'll stop, it'll make this position a bit more safe. Um, but if you do this one, then um, it'll make it easier for them to push out and then start fighting. Um, but it gives them, but it gives you slightly more space to work with. Say if you've got a jet that's really aggressive, that can updraft them to this box. Uh, they'll probably get spammed to be honest. Um, or maybe you want someone to stop by here, or like a phoenix or something who's going to flash into the smoke. Um, maybe, maybe that's what's happening, right? So you know, two different CT smokes you can use. Um, I think personally, uh, this one's better because it gives your teammates, you know, more options if they feel like they can use them. Especially with the lack of communication, you want to be kind of trying to do like something that can uh, give your teammates ideas to win the rounds. Um, or you can like communicate it as well. Like maybe you can push up to the CT smoke at the start of the round, and maybe they'll do that, and you know, you'll get you'll get a free kill. He'll get a free kill um, from your com. Uh, there we go. See, uh, so. C is pretty easy. Um, so once again, well, oops, sorry. Um, so you can do this and this. Um, that's the general uh, two two smokes I'm going to do. Um, before running up here though, I'm going to place a star here. Um, and you're going to suck this, so it makes it very, very hard for anyone to peek this. I mean, if they are peeking it, they're going to die. If it's an operator, once again, I'm going to switch things up and I'm going to do this. Dead. To stop them from scoping in and killing us. And then when we get close enough, we're going to do this. It's important with Astra um, to um, use your smokes when you're fairly close um, to the site because your smokes last the least amount of time. Um, so you want to make sure like you're basically getting ready to go onto site that second basically when you place them, about when you actually put up the smokes. You can also do like um, if you if you make sure your team is ready for it as well, you can fake smoke this. Um, so you know you just do the normal smoke CT. Um, and then you can fake smoke this, make sure your teammate, teammates are ready, and then you can get maybe a free kill, someone trying to walk into this smoke. Um, that's a good way to mix things up if uh, if you notice that someone's walking into it a lot. Um, and then for, for the wall on C, it's very, very easy wall. Um, you want to just make sure it lines up with this, so you probably want to just place your indicator here, um, and then straight down. And usually I place a supporting star here um, to make sure they can't just like 
uh, sit on like sit next to the wall and wait for a good timing um so sometimes you can just catch people off guard by sucking this and they'll get pulled through the wall and you can start shooting them um usually people have a good enough reaction speed to realize that they're getting pulled and they'll actually manage to get behind the wall again um but you know you might be able to get free kills on some people uh doing that um yeah that's basically that's basically it we're gonna do uh we take on c real quick i forgot to do c um so usually i'm just gonna place a star to stop them from um diffusing i'm gonna play long usually um and once again you want to just use your wall to make sure they can't just take a bunch of space um i'm gonna make sort of layers against them if that makes sense i think this is probably the best wall just looking at it right now i don't usually will use wall like this if i have wall for c usually i'm going to use it to get onto site rather than post plant um i very rarely have it post plant and not going into site um and this is the best wall right because as long as you have a star like this um then you know, your teammates won't get killed from garage. Actually, I'm not sure if it's best. Maybe it's actually like this or something. I was just concerned because of backside, right? You can't really get a good wall, I don't think. Yeah, you can't really get a good wall. Uh, so I, I guess the best one is actually just to maybe maybe plant here. Maybe if you plant here, this is the time to do this. This is the time to wall, right? Because you can do a kind of wall like this. Um, still not great because they can still mix up on you by doing this but they they are mid jump when they actually go actually can they actually do this way? oh yeah they can do it yeah, yeah you can just jump like this right and then they can swing like this yeah it's not the best actually there's not really too many good walls on retake see but looks at things i think this is definitely the best wall actually wait you can line it with this corner maybe no it's still bad you, you really need it to be like fairly like fairly straight on um i can always kind of get on stage maybe it has to be like this I don't actually know. I don't think there's a good wall here. I never do a wall here, but I just wanted to talk about every single wall like possible. There's actually no good wall here. M maybe like this. I don't actually know. I don't think so. I don't think this is better. Well, that's a good thing to comment. If you think there's a good wall here, then let me know. Um, but I don't think there's a good wall here, um, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, um, that's going to be the end, I think. Um, yeah, if you know a good wall and see, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, like if you like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.